Hello and welcome everyone. In this new video, we are going to give you a quick and easy tutorial where we'll guide you step by step on how to set up a client portal. If you sign up for Go High Level using our affiliate link below, you'll unlock an exclusive extended 30 day free trial that's double the usual 14 days. Plus, we're throwing in over $2,000 worth of bonuses, including this landing page template. So let's dive right into the video. So the first thing that you need to do to set up your client portal is to go to any sub account that you have. So let's choose one. And there are two ways to go to the portal uh, setup. It's either first you go to sites and then go to client portal, or you could also go to memberships. So click memberships and you will also see the client portal. So now that we're on the client portal dashboard, let me give you a quick overview. So first you'll see the client portal URL. So you are going to use this to direct your clients to the client portal. So let's see how it looks. So this is where they're going to log in once they receive their invitation link to sign up for the portal. So you can either generate a magic link, invite a client to a portal via email or send a direct login email. So say for example, let's invite a, uh, send or send an invitation to a client. So just uh, click here and you will see all your contacts. So let's see, send invite. And you will see that here, you will see that you already have two invited uh, users. And so currently we have one user registered. So once the user that we just invited registers, this will be updated, this will become two users. All right, so now as you can see, we now have two users as the uh, previous user that we invited already activated their account or already signed up. Now we have two users. So now that we're done with the client portal dashboard overview, let's go ahead and go to settings. So here you can see four sections of the client portal settings. You have domain setup, branding, app permissions, and email settings. So let's go ahead and check domain setup first. So here under the domain setup, you can definitely apply your client's branding um, on the URLs or on the domains. So first you have the uh, customize the subdomain option. So you just have to remove this uh, as this doesn't really look professional. So maybe let's try to uh, put a, a, a subdomain or a custom name here and see if this is available. Just click update domain. Okay, and there you have it. So it works so far. Um, if you want to further customize your uh, client portal, you can enter a custom domain right here. Now, this requires you to have your own domain because you're going to be getting um, the C name and all sorts of those stuff from your um, domain provider. Uh, it may be GoDaddy, Bluehost, or whatever domain provider you have and just paste it here. And same thing, click update domain and you will be able to use your own custom domain. So once we're done with the domain setup, let's go ahead and look at the app permissions. So here under the app permissions, these are the apps that you're going to see or the options that you're going to see when you get to your homepage. And when you scroll down below, you can see that you also have the option to select the default landing page. So currently our default landing page is the home page. You can either choose the communities page, courses page, or affiliates page. It really is up to you. And again, as for the client portal apps, so here are the apps that are currently enabled uh, on the home page. So let's take a look at how this looks like when we log in. So as you can see, here is the client portal homepage. And here on the left side, here are all the apps that are enabled as well as here. What we're going to do now is we're going to configure the enabled apps so you can see the changes right here on the left side. All right, so let's go back to our app permissions. And let's say we just want to show the communities and the courses. So let's uncheck these three and save settings. And now let's take a look at our homepage. So I just logged in again using our uh, test account and we're now just seeing the communities and the courses apps. 
Same here, communities and courses. Now we're done with the app permissions. Let's go and check the branding section. So here in the branding section, this is where you're going to personalize your portal. So you can display your, your custom portal name, add your portal description and so on. All right, so I've already entered a uh, test portal name and test description. Uh, please be advised that the uh, portal name only supports up to 20 characters and the description only supports up to 50 characters. I also chose my uh, brand color and I also uploaded a uh, fav icon. I also uploaded a portal image, um, business logo, uh, support email, and the copyright. So if you go to the advanced section, so here's where we paste the codes, custom codes, custom JavaScript, custom CSS codes, uh, tracking codes, footer codes, if you have advanced coding skills. But if you don't, um, you can always go to Go High Level Experts and you can definitely uh, get your codes from there. All right, so let's go ahead and save our settings and let's take a look how our client portal looks like. All right, so this is how our client portal looks like after we've saved the changes. So let's try to log in. All right, so here is the client portal. So everything is here. So here's the name, um, here's the logo and uh, five icon and all, all of the stuff that we have configured. All right, so now we're done with the domain setup, app permissions and the branding. Now let's go ahead and click email settings. So we're now in the last section. So here on the email settings, this is where you're going to configure all the emails that you're going to send to your members. So let's say uh, there is a member that is added to a certain group in your uh, portal. So you can either choose to use the default template email that they will receive uh, once they join the group or choose um, an email template that you have. So click this one, so this is the uh, client portal welcome. So we're gonna be using this. So when, uh, whenever a, a member joins a group, that's what they're going to receive on their email inbox. So going back to the email settings, all of these are called triggers, the one with the check marks. And whenever a certain trigger is uh, activated, they will send an email. The same thing with certificates, you have these, so you can definitely configure all the templates right here and same with the courses. But please note that under the courses, you have to make sure that you've already set up your Stripe account so you can get paid because these courses are supposed to be um, sold to your members. All right, so let's go back to our client portal and let's try to join a group that we created. So this is how it looks like uh, if you created a group. So click join group. And there you have it. And just a quick one though, uh, for you to create a group, just go to your memberships uh, tab. So click communities and click groups. And all your active, active groups will appear here. So just click create group and this is the same interface like how you customize your own client portal. So here's how the email notification looks like whenever a member joins a group. And this is a template that we've chosen earlier. All right, so there's one last feature that I would like to show you and this is what we call the branded mobile app. Here you can create your branded client portal app for uh, mobile, for iOS and Android, but this is a paid feature. So you have to um, pay for this and this is the price. Uh, so we're not gonna be uh, doing this for now. I just wanted to show you guys so you have an idea how it looks like. And that is it. We've just covered the basics of setting up your client portal. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. 
And don't forget, if you're ready to try out Go High Level, use our affiliate link in the description to unlock an extended 30 day trial, over $2,000 worth of bonuses, and a free landing page template. See you in the next videos.